We're back with more random battles to the top, and this is actually pre-recorded because I am currently at the Orlando Regionals. Oh, we get Michael, that's pretty cool. I am currently at the Orlando Regionals at the time of when this will be airing. I will be at the Orlando Regionals for a few days at least. But at least we finally find fight Michael. He's 24-94, so that's pretty cool. Oh, he has a gold ribbon too. Okay. Well, we have a good Stealth Rock lead. We have Palkia to switch into Wugtrio's attacks. We have Amoongus too. Not bad. Orthworm, spikes are good. Bronzong can win. It's not amazing, it's fine. Iron Jugglist is fine too, but getting Stealth Rock lead is good. They'll probably attack for damage. This is deceptively strong. Aqua Jet? Okay. This is deceptively strong because of... Yeah, I misclicked. Uh, it's because the high level, level 91, makes it tough. Oh, we get a free knockoff into Lottie. That's going to do a lot of damage. Soul Dew knocked off. We don't take a lot from Draco. We can keep knocking off. At some point, okay, Calm Mind, Draco, Psy Shock, Recover. Do I want to trade? I'll take 50 from Draco. I would knock out Lottie. Or do I go to Orthworm immediately? That's another idea. Because I always pretty much wall Latios with Orthworm. I think I'd want to keep HP on Swampert. There's no reason to trade it when I'm not that threatened by Latios to begin with. I can greet a Spike here. I can also Iron Head. They Calm Mind. We will Iron Head. We have Bronzong too, so it's really comfortable. 53? Okay. Iron Head. Maybe I overestimated Orthworm. Do I go to Iron Jugglus or do I go to Bronzong? Let's Iron Head again. Okay, we get the KO there. That was a bit of a roll because we hit 37 into 40, but they also risked it, so... This is overall good. We have... They go to Feraligator. How do I beat Feraligator? I have a Moongus, but I'm scared of Swords Dance and Ice Punch. I also have Palkia. Oh, Palkia should be comfortable. Dragon... Yeah, I always go Palkia here. They Dragon Dance. I don't faint to anything. And I can Thunder Wave. Okay. And I'm still fine versus Wugtrio because I have a Moongus here. That's why I'm com I'm okay with making the trade. Because I have Amoongus to deal with Wugtrio later, and we have Hazards racking up too. 59. Liquidation, that worked out. He probably made a predict that I was going to switch out of Ice Punch. They go to Wugtrio now. Do I keep Palkia alive? What I don't want to do is, I don't want to overestimate Amoongus here. Palkia is fast. I do want to keep it alive. I'm going to go to Amoongus. 28 defense drop. Annoying, but not terrible. We'll get a spore off because even Terra water uh, liquidation won't break through. Okay. Let's Giga Drain now. They go to Jirachi. Leftovers revealed. Let's go to Orthworm. They go to Luxray. Okay. Luxray is kind of walled by Swampert. Kind of. But they still have Terra normal facade. My Bronzong will always beat Jirachi, so I'm going to stay in to get damage in case they want to try and Trailblaze or something. Supercell Slam, that's fine. We go to Swampert. They have Terra Normal Facade, but that doesn't do enough damage to me. I can Earthquake. Yep. Okay. 41. Now, Swampert's gone. Even if they Trailblaze, I have Iron Jugglist to outspeed. Choice Scarf, Dark Pulse will hit into everything. Wugtrio, Jirachi. Rampardos, okay. This isn't that bad, because I do have Dark Pulse. I'm scared of Choice Scarf. Okay, this is tricky, but I think Bronzong can handle it. Yeah, Iron Defense, Bronzong definitely wins here, but I have to be careful. We always Dark Pulse, no reason not to. We get a flinch if we're lucky, but that's really not what we're counting on. Rock Slide, okay. We go to Palkia to confirm Choice Scarf. 95, yeah. We'll, we'll find out if they're Choice Scarf or not. They're not, okay. And now Bronzong should win. 215 into 206. We outspeed. We'll Thunder Wave. Thunder Wave and then Bronzong wins with Iron Defense here. I think we had a good matchup overall. 
Okay. They wish I spatial rend. I'm okay with fainting here because my main goal is going to be Bronzong. I guess we can lose if we get really unlucky with Paralysis, but other than that, it's comfortable now. Iron Defense Body Press will do well. Do we need one more? We outsped that Pokemon. We don't even need one more. Alright, we got the win there. We move on to... Let me save it for the thumbnail. You guys will love that. I've actually played him a couple times before, but... Uh, oftentimes I'm not recording. This is the first time I've actually had it while recording. Dusknor into Comfey. We have Willow. We have Poltergeist. They should be switching out. I think Poltergeist does too much damage to try and stay in on. Yeah, make sure to subscribe. Helps out the channel. Yeah, this is a free Willow. Unless they have, you know, Houndoom. Right, they have uh, Weirder. Weirdier. Now, getting the burn is great. They're probably going to try and T-Wave. I would love to go to Rhyperior. I'm a little scared of Psychic Noise, but... You know what? Actually, I'm okay with Scizor getting T-Waved. It's already naturally slow and it has Bullet Punch for speed anyway. Scizor is a basically a perfect counter. I'm okay with getting T-Waved. Now we can knock off. It's better to have uh, gone to Scizor than to have gone to Rhyperior and risked uh, Psychic Noise damage because Rhyperior has a low special defense. They go to Bellabolt. Knockoff. Oh, Bellabolt's an extremely annoying Pokemon. 124. Hmm. I'm going to go Sandaconda. They can Muddy Water, but I think an Electric type attack is more likely. Yep, there we go. Now we have... A relatively free Earthquake. I don't want to get Greedy and Coil. But I could get Greedy and co Coil. Or I can go to Monkey Dory. I actually don't hate the idea of going Monkey Dory. Yeah, we find out information. They have Giratina, which doesn't... We actually loses to Scale Shot, so that's good to know. Uh, for now, though, we can just U-turn. Do we get a Lucky Poison? We do. That's helpful. Now, Manaphy, we don't have a good, we don't have anything that can switch into Ghost. So Draco Meteor Poltergeist will be tough. Is it Scizor? I like Scizor to defend against uh, Weird Ear. I think Manaphy, I mean, Manaphy could win a game on its own, but it's always going to be walled by Comfey, kind of. Okay. They go to Mian Shao. And they outspeed me. Banded close combat would get the KO, but they could also knock off. I'm gonna go I'm gonna play a little risky here. I'm gonna go Dust Noir on close combat. It's A V. That didn't work out for me. But we can pain split now. Because they hit me into low HP, pain split, recover that. Right? Now, I really think they're going to respect Scizor. But they also might not. So I really want to... I'm just going to go to it. Okay. What I really wanted to do there is I wanted to Will-O-Wisp predicting a switch. It's a good thing I didn't do that. Knockoff is great. I'm going to go Monkey Dory. Right, we have Fake Out, which I probably shouldn't have done, but we can U-turn. The The key here is now, because of Mianxiao knocking off Dustnor, I'm protected from Poltergeist. So I'm only weak to Draco now, which doesn't do enough, and now I can Pain Split if I want to. Go to Monkey Dory. Okay. That's doing a little too much damage. Let's go to Manaphy. I'm not playing this accurately at all.
uh, Ice Beam. They're going to go Mian Shell. This is... So what I have to do is I have to uh, win the game with Sandaconda. But that's tricky because of Comfey in the back. Yeah, at this point I'm kind of in a tough spot. We'll Hydro for damage. Get close combat. You know, I keep getting these really, really slow teams, which is annoying. Hopefully we scale shot into Giratina, which is what I'm expecting to happen. But they could go weirdier too. Okay, we got Giratina. And they have their own mana fee, which is not good. Go Monkadori. Psychic Noise. Okay, we U-turn on that. Good damage. Keep Scizor around. I'm going to knock off. Okay. Now we still have issues with Comfey, but maybe they're more manageable. Yeah, the, the issue is going to be Comfey in the back. And we have, we just cannot outspeed Manaphy. Oh, we do have Monkadori. I'm going to knock off. I think they're going to Tail Glow. Okay, that's good. Now we have ideas with Fake Out, U-Turn, uh, Chaining Poison onto Manaphy. I'm going to keep... <laughs> I'm actually going to Terra Bug my Rhyperior. As funny as that sounds. I'm going to Terra Bug Rhyperior this game. Because Terra Bug helps me versus Comfey, Mian Shao, Manaphy. It helps me versus everything. Okay, we get that. Do I want to... Yeah, I don't need Dusk Nord. It doesn't do anything anymore. Let's U-turn on that. I'm Terra Bugging my Rhyperior. Uh, we always get the KO now. I suppose, yeah, Sludge Wave is my best move. Now what? Mian Shao? I get outsped, unfortunately. Go to Sandaconda. I'm going to... So, close combat's a two at KO. So I have to scale shot on knockoff. Or they close combat, okay. Now I have Earthquake, and I really do think Terra Bug Rhyperior is, mat is match winning now. Okay. They should try to Giga Drain me now. Yep. Terra Bug. And we Earthquake. Oh, that does a lot of damage. Okay, maybe not. Maybe we don't win. I did not expect that much damage. But now we have Bellabolt. So it has to Terra Electric. Probably Terra Water. I lose. I lose from here. We have to hope for maybe like a choke, but... I, I over I underast I underestimated the damage that Comfy would do. Terra Water and the Thunderbolt, GG. So we move down to 2282. I think that's net positive for going one for one. Ooh, we get Michael again. I guess he's the only one laddering along with me. And we get the legendary into legendary matchup. What does this do? It could be Calm Mind. It could be Water Spout. I do have protection because of Terra Shell. I'm no, I'm okay with going for one Calm Mind. That did 42? Uh-oh. That means choice specs, right? And I don't really have a Pokemon that can take that on. I have an entire Pokemon weak to Kyogre. Now, that has to be choice specs, the way the damage output there. Do I, do I live if I terrestrialize here? If I terrestrialize, I don't even live. So maybe I should have gotten damage. Oh no, I outspeed though. I outspeed if I'm a Terra, right? 
Okay. Get rid of rain. Their scarf. Now, that worked out, strangely enough. Because we got rid of their weather. They Terra too. I was uncomfortable tearing early, using Terra early, but it worked out. Does this have Encore? It does not. It has Focus Blast though. Okay. Uh, we'll trade. Yeah. That's Scarf, not even Specs. They go back to Kyogre. I kind of have to take this now, don't I? Do I get any value in switching out? Origin Pulse will knock me out. I could go to Sunflora. Is Terraform 0 one time per switch in? Or once per battle? Okay, it's once per battle. Okay. Now... Huh. It's another issue because Sunflora uh, weather, even if I get, you know, Sunny Day up, Kyogre removes it instantly. I... You know what? It's risky. I could go Sunflora. I'm going to keep, I think, 173 Terra Star Storms are valuable. I'm going to keep it around. I'm going to go to Sunflora. Okay. I'm going to Weather Ball with Water. Let's see if I can... Oh, well, they have Altaria. That's a perfect counter to Sunflora. Now, I have Avalug. I have Avalug, which I like. Okay. This is definitely not bad at all, because we were able to neutralize each other's Terra. But we are long-term weak to Kyogre. We're going to have to back, you know, Sturdy. Maybe we have, you know, AV Swampert doing something good. Trailblaze Embor isn't fast enough. You would need two. Sucker Punch Wugtrio. Okay, they go to Volcarona. Oh, I get burned. But I do, without Terra, Embor is kind of good. But they, again, they have uh, the Altaria to counter me. Do I try and 1v1 the Altaria? Maybe it could have Haze too. Brave Bird, definitely. Oh, critical hit. They crit hit through my Embor. Okay. That's bad, but not unmanageable. Iron Head, they go Volcarona. I risk Flame Body, but I'm not gutsy enough to Earthquake predicting Volcarona. Okay, they go to Iron Crown. Is that Scarf? No. So Earthquake hits them now. Okay. Now... Are they gonna go for it? They're... Okay, they went for it. That's good. They go to Kyurem now. Now... Wug tr so Dugtrio is valuable to me, but... Hmm. So I have to be careful. What is this trying to do to me? If it's... Dragon Dance and Avalug beats it. If it is choice specs, I'm a little more trouble because my I have to use maybe Kyogre or Swampert. Freeze Dry would be annoying too. Okay. I don't have my Terra left. What I Okay, so what I can do is Iron Head always. Go for Flinch if I get it, I'm the luckiest guy ever, but if I don't get it, what happens? If I don't get it, I do 75. I bring it low. Can Avalug? Avalug could live a hit in that situation. I think this is my best way of getting damage on it. 71. No flinch. They are physical. They are physically attacking Kyurem, which means Avalug can wall it. Now, body press is kind of predictable. They're going to go to Volcarona, I think. I'm going to double Swampert. They go to Altaria. That's fine, too. We'll Ice Beam that. I don't think we're winning. If that has Giga Drain. If it's Giga Drain, which it's, it can have. If it's Giga Drain, I'm losing. 33. But 
Anytime they don't roost, I'm gonna uh, one hit KO them, right? Well, maybe not one hit KO. Thirty-five. Yeah, I do threaten one hit KO. They go to cure him now. I don't want to take damage. Yeah, if it's Giga Drain Volcarona, I lose. Yeah, that's what they're baiting. I have to respond with Avalug into Kyurem, and then that'll give you that'll give him the quiver dance right after. Well, here we go. Okay, Torrent. Torrent flip turn. Got it. Swampert. He did it. I can't believe it. Swampert actually did it. Now we go to Terrapagos, I guess? Doesn't really matter. Avalug. I should have gone to Avalug there. Oops. Because that can still be Dragon Dance. I should have gone to Avalug there. 31. Okay. And I think we're fine. Maybe we're fine? Do we lose? There's, there's no way Avalug lose, loses to Altaria. There's no way. Maybe it does, though. Maybe it does. But, no, Avalanche always gives me keeps me protected. Because of Avalanche, Avalanche doing double damage, and they can't roost on the turn they damage. Maybe. Okay. 53. We recover. They only have one roost left. They roost again. And we're always out of range of Brave Bird. Alright. And we get the win. We move up to 2309. And that's going to end the episode. Thank you guys for watching and see you guys tomorrow.